away from his beloved world title belt that he had fought so hard to earn and get. And here he is back in action against a Filipino southpaw. And one thing we know about Burnett is he has that sharp, fast explosivity. He has that wide stance, he's always on the, he's always cocked ready to explode in and out of attacks. He has those fast feet. Not only a return to action, to return to Belfast as well for the, the first time since last October. Uh, sorry, when he, he won the the belt against Zanet uh, Zakianov, didn't he? Strong fighter. That was when he added the WBA belt to his IBF that he'd won previously against Lee Haskins. Too much and sharp here. Burnett. He's always lived the life of Burnett. He's always been dedicated to this sport. He's always trained like a champion, even from the very early days. Good there from Burnett. You see, uh, when he attacked there, he's taking a massive step to the left with that foot. Thinking what he's doing already, he's moving around the target to set up opportunities. He asked a little reminder there not to be too gung ho. What is he? But he, but he takes that foot on the outside. He's always on the outside of the, of, of the right hand there, the, the mirror. So he's got to turn the throw. Just see that little half a second takes a turn. Just lines him up for that right hand there of Burnett. Just keeps him turning as he can and punches go. Good start by Burnett. Straight down to business, looking sharp. Oh, well, he. he he landed a shot which, which actually landed on the, the gloves Burnett and there was a, a sharp cracking left hook counter that came back from Gamera. That's good from Gamera because Burnett commits himself when he attacks. If he can if he can block or if he can take it and throw back, he might catch Burnett on the move. He's only been stopped twice, Gamera, once sort of five or so years ago and then last July when he lost in seven to can do or Zuk Zu can who recently won a WBA featherweight title in the, the States against he says he says Rosa Rojas. It's a lovely short like you were taught, it's a lovely short left hook from Burnett. Just chopped down with it. It's a beautiful shot. It's a few times we've had for now. I think it's been a good round. It's been out for so long. Got a full range of movement. It looks like he's pushing off that back leg with no worries. You see there. And look how sharp that shot was. Got a right hand off, zipped round the target. Good start. You can see they want to stay nice and low, block and counter. They're just saying, look, don't take it on your arms. You can see that by the movement. I know you understand anyway. Very multi language, multi skilled Barry Jones, former world champion. Into the second round. Burnett against Gamera. And Burnett in the all black. Good right hand there from Burnett. Well timed. Moving back, so there wasn't much weight on the shot. Good there from Gamera. Then. If he missed with the first one, we just do another left hand. Straight after it. Doubling up with that left hand there with the southpaw stance. When you've got a guy you know, with good head movement like Burnett, you've got to throw your punches in first. He'll, he'll, make, he'll make you miss for single shots or, or two or even three punches at the time. You've got to just let him go. Fast push of the punches, then you put the chest just above the chest area. Well, he's wildly missing the Gamara. Through with the left hand there, yeah, Gamera. Think he just started to find his rhythm. That's just, that's just the, the, you know, the wrist. No, I think 
but that's trying to be offensive. And I think boxing with your hands low sometimes you, know, you don't. You're not always switched on. And you have nothing to defend yourself against. You, you, you rely on your reflexes constantly, which works when you are switched on. But if you switch off now and again, you're going to get tripped. It's a better here from the net. That was interesting. No, there no shots landed in that exchange, but just a maybe he's starting to hold his ground he's looking to defend any potential attacks and stay in range there Bernardes Bernardes still coming forward in this round just eased up haven't he all of a sudden Bernardes he's not getting hit with anything major but he's in the pressure here a lot of missing the loads though so I think it's a lot of huff and puff in, in industry without too much effect Gamera and he's clipped by left hand Bernardes enjoying this Making a miss with most of the attacks, but you don't want to be there because the intention is that you're not doing anything, and the guys are working away. And then a little bit of quality from Burnett, all that sort of flail and, and, and effort from Gamera, and he's clipped by three or four punches in response. Another right hand gets through from Burnett right at the end of that round. A little bit of class to finish it. to the third round then next month it'll be two years since Ryan Burnett won the IBF title against Lee Haskins over 12 rounds when he topped the bill did the same thing again in Belfast a few months later that was October of 2017 when he topped the bill in Belfast and he also won the WBA against Zanat Zakianov that night while defending the IBF for the first time uh, as well be on his record Barry that he, he has one loss one retirement loss on his record he'll feel really that he's not been beaten I suspect of course you know, and, and I was there that night even Bernier wasn't happy with, with the result the other day. So it was, it was, no one was happy that night it was a, it was a nightmare for Bernier it really was but he's good. back he's back and he's looking sharp and speaking off the back so far so good yep God, it's a lovely shot and I think he has low, I thought it was a good shot. And he has the star on there, doesn't he? Where he, he's sort of exploding into to combinations and, and shots. He, he's got that sort of alert, active movement style that you fancy as he gets through with a couple of accurate shots, you, you fancy you might just have seen that if there was any problem. Oh, good shot there, lovely left hand there from Burnett, and again. And then let his shots go now, Burnett, maybe slightly crowding his work. I think what's good there for me, right? more than the punch, he's moving his feet around the target. And Gamera's struggling just to fire back. And I mentioned that defeat for Zhu Kan, or Kan Zhu, depending on how you pronounce the, the Chinese Christian and surnames, uh, last July. Uh, he lost in seven, but as I said, Zhu's got on to, to win a world title. I think it underlines that there's a, a, a certain stability and solidness to Gamera. Uh, Burnett is going to have to to work for the openings if he's going to get him out of there tonight. He's not going to fold easy, Gamera. There's nothing wrong with that shot there, though. That hit the arms there of Gamera and just saying it looks like he's playing a little bit low and it wasn't. But I think I think Burnett's got some good rhythm to his work in this round. Just some lovely little moves off the ropes. Oh, lovely body shot. But see, yet hasn't haven't really shown the power to really trouble. Gamera and that's why he's looking he's always looking to fire back and a competitive fight like this is probably was something that Bennett needed Noya Nui of course in action tomorrow night in Glasgow he's just signed with top rank Ryan Burnett just signed with top rank people will talk good shot there from Burnett lovely right hand and a good round there Ryan Burnett It's been a good pace. It's been an active fight so far. It's not been the over that some 
thought there's just a possibility for Ryan Burnett tonight. I think he's going to have to he's going to have to work, and more importantly, he's going to have to think, and he might have to do a few runs. It's not for the one to try it from, but as you can see, you know, once he thought he had Gamera on the road on, on the go, he, you know, he went right at him, took his shot. But what was good for Ryan Burnett? He's always moving around the target, changing direction with his feet, not really setting himself. So he, he lacks a bit of fun. into the next then. Lots of little glimpses of the, the quality, the undoubted quality of Ryan Burnett that's taken to the two World Championship belts so far in his career, and he'll be so eager. You, you fancy, Barry, I mean, this was originally slated for a, a title, uh, the, the check weight for Gamera meant that that wasn't on the table, but at, it, it matters not, really. Burnett's the sort of guy, A, he needs to get back in, but B, he's got the quality that he is straight into that Course, world yeah, conversation. All his international belts are, are fantastic made for when you're coming up the ranks to give you a rating, but he wouldn't need it. Just to get back into a good opponent, which is a decent opponent, and that'll be enough to, to get him there and, and get him in what probably a world title shot if he wants it, if there's anything spare going. The more weight he's going to be at, more importantly. Oh, that's right now. Yeah. Opening up, getting through with some shots now for Nett. So the first minute of this fourth. over the referee. Well, these days, it doesn't matter if it's boxing or, or MMA, you, you're almost criticised if you, if you take any time for a low shot, aren't you? Well, it was on the waistband, but you know, if you be on the waistband, it can react further down, of course, but it wasn't massively low, but it was low. Intentional, you suspect. He's in the last full of us, isn't he? Or the bread basket, whatever you want to call it. Oh, tried it again. Huh? That, nothing wrong with that one. Oh, that's left hook there as well from Burnett. Be careful there. The, his head movement's got to be nice and sharp. He's going through the motions a little bit there with the head movement, Burnett. It's got, cut, it's got caught, nothing heavy. the movement and the feet for Burnett. It's a great shot. Yeah, it is. He sticks his tongue out. <laughs> the Filipino, but I think that's because he knows that was a cracker. Well, he's on the ball to his feet, Burnett, so there's just, it, it lacks a maybe the, the power that maybe he, he could get off it if he just handed his feet a little bit more, but I think for what he gains by being able to move around, it's, it's worth it's worth lacking a little bit of, of weight. Landed another right hand there, Burnett. He barely blinked Gamera. I think he's going to be tough, this guy. Oh, that's a shot. Again, Gamera wears it well. He's tough, this Gamera. He's that taking everything. Just about to say, this is a tough little over. There's another clean right hand. The accuracy is coming back for Burnett. Another little complaint there from Gamera. Good shot again there from Burnett. Right through the guy with that long, beautiful right hand. Again, he just gives a bit of momentum. He just gets that rhythm in his work. Burnett, and he's really okay. hard to stop. Burnett got through with about five or six right hands, searing right hands in that round. Will they take effect later on? some of the action from the previous round and while the heads came close there was a low blow in that round as well but the last minute of it Ryan Burnett started to land rather freely he worked his way into the round didn't he Burnett but once he, once he started he start to land with regularity there he really sort of clutched it together as well moving on the tag and the footwork's really good from Burnett and then he started to dominate slightly now the ever calm presence of Adam Booth corner as well. Into round five. This one. Ryan Burnett approaching halfway. Get any sense that he's looking to do rounds here. 
barrier. He's landing the right hand freely. Just wonder, another couple of rounds if he, if he can be as accurate as that. You, you surely think it might just start to tell. Be a great result if he can. I can't see it. I think I think he's picking him off at ease, but I just think Gamera looks a tough guy. I think you really got to hurt him, and, and then and then when you hurt him, you got to pile on the pressure. No, I think Benet can do that. Can pile on the pressure, but but he's always feet. There's always a constant movement. He doesn't plant his feet enough to really get the purges that he needs to to stop a guy like this. Yeah, he does look solid. I think that's a, a fair shout. He, listen, he could stop him. I think there's some of he gets that body shot like that whipping across the body. He's hitting, he's hitting some fantastic shots. Even there, Gamera looks swinging, but he has to take a little quick shot coming in. This is again so much confidence for Ned in his own ability, his own head movement, his speed. Oh, yes, quality, real quality from Burnett. That inspires the crowd and also instigates a rally from Gamera. Tempting Gamera in, he's trying to walk him onto a shot. Tried the uppercut, didn't quite work for him. I still you want to be in the corner, but Vanet, no, to be fair, he's blocking everything. Quite comfortable. And no, no, no frustration yet for Gamera, even though he's been missing. A great deal. He's been picked off often too. Oh, what a shot! What a shot! And again, Gamera takes it. There's been a, a highlight sequence, a highlight reel of eye-catching shots from Burnett. That was the best one though, because that was the, the distance was right, the timing was right, everything was everything was spot on with that shot. And that's gone the distance. Oh, and again, most of his recent fights, Burnett did 12 rounds with Torrejo when he defended that uh, WBA title last year in Cardiff. That was on the AJ Joseph Parker bill. At 12 rounds, Zakianov, when he won the IBF, defended the IBF, won the WBA. Of course, 12 rounds with Haskins uh, too. So, as is ever the case, up at world level. Reactions are spot on to this round, especially here from the net. He's making this, this fella's trying to throw in front of Gamera, he's making him miss with ease and making him pay for every mistake. And although there was some, you know, some talk about a stoppage win, I think the most important thing is how good Burnett and how sharp Burnett looks on this return. Well, the, the, it's the defence to attack that is so impressive. Well, it's, it's dropping your hands is so risky, but when it, but it almost encourages a, a fella on. That's what's happening here. But Benet is encouraging him on because the reactions are really good. That's a fantastic shot. Look at that. Right on the button. In that, in that round especially, he picked his shots well. It frustrated Gamera for the first time. He was a little bit despondent, but he couldn't hit the target. Even though he kept trying to throw down a shot, he was picked off with ease. With a bit more purchase in the punches in that round for Benet. Into round six then, Ryan Burnett, all black, trunks up against Gamera. And I, there's no doubt that Ryan Burnett, he, he's looked in little danger the more this one has gone on. He's in control of the, the contest. Is that a what? Oh. oh, well, I was going to say he's going to get a warning. Is that, uh, is that a bit early? Well, if we've seen him clearly warn him twice. That's the second time. But he might have been telling him throw. He's a few straight low, but I think Burnett's got a little bit of a, a, a point with his argument that they're hitting the arms and, and, and going low. They're ricocheting off. What happens there? Gamera, he's constantly touching his, 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 his groin, groin for a second anyway. I'm not sure if he's got an issue with it, so he's maybe just magnifying the point that he's getting hit a little bit low. 
picked off there again. Look at that fantastic defense from Burnett trying to turn that into attack once again. Every time he has a, a, a succession of, of punches landed, the crowd starts to build to a crescendo. Some lovely head movement there, of course, there from Burnett. See, even though he, uh, you would never tell anyone to drop that, oh, what a shot. You never tell anyone to drop their hands that close to the distance, but you can see the concentration in his face. Big right hand again from Burnett. It's almost a, a sixth sense where these punches whizzing by, missing by millimeters, if not centimeters. You can just see, you can see why Gomera's corner were calling for that uppercut because Burnett, what's Burnett? He puts his head so close to you that it's almost he's safe because he's too close to the target. That's another semi complaint from Gamera. Now the right hand landed him on the cheek from Burnett. Starting to get through again. Oh, that's a good body shot from him. And again. Oh, it's the second one. Oh, he's complained there. But no way. He landed two. He's counted him out. Referee spot on. Gamera. He was trying to work it, Gamera. Ryan Burnett landed two left hooks behind the elbow. A bona fide body shot. And Gamera was trying to con the referee, and he's counted him out. I don't know what to say about that. He tended, he, listen, he was, he was getting ticked off and slowly feet out from there, but he looked tough. But that looked like a swallow. 100%. He, he's he got it. A couple of them were low, and I think Burnett was right. Sort of protested that some of them were hitting the arms and going a bit, low, ricocheting a little bit low. But I don't. It, it wasn't enough. For, it wasn't enough to turn his back, but he. There's oh, the first one. Oh, there. Wrong with that. There, there, that's, that's a little bit low there, but that's not. So unless, the first unless, though, but he can unless, unless Barry was a delayed reaction from that first one. I don't know. Again though, like we've seen it, we've seen it recently about a, a low blow and enough to turn your back and, and not want to know. And and it all it all stems from getting totally off box and slowly feet up for for the four, four or five rounds, and that's, I think that's what it is. And you can see the, the body language there. Ryan Burnett's more or less saying to, to Gamari how, how tough he was un, uh, up until that point. Well, and the hardest thing is, not so much when you're getting beat, some of you are in a tough fight and you're getting hurt, you dig in. If you're having success back, you dig in. But if success started off okay with Gamari, the first round he was hitting back, but the last sort of three rounds, he couldn't land with a shot. And I mean, Burnett was right in front of him, but he got the, sharp, the head move was a little bit sharp in the last few rounds of Burnett. He stayed close to the target, made him miss all the time, and made him pay for every time he missed. And I think that, that more than getting hit in the in low or the body shots was what really made, was giving the option to turn his back and say, I might just uh, sit this one out. Well, it's the, the, the result that some anticipated, if perhaps the manner of it in the end, it, uh, at the end, was slightly unexpected given the pattern of the play. But he'll take it Ryan Burnett and he was looking good in the process let's get confirmation of it with him ladies and gentlemen referee John Latham called the stop to the action at two minutes and one second of round number six two two red corner unable to defend themselves declaring your winner Ryan rank crew along with MTK can start plotting his journey forward I think it's fair to say and that journey Barry almost certainly destined back for the world stage. I think, I think to what, what tonight was most important that uh, there was no problem with the back. I think more than anything else, and, and he had to look good. He looked good against a guy who was a good opponent, not not, not the top of echelons of the world level, but a decent opponent who, who fought at a good level, and he totally dominated. They played with him in it for most parts of the fight. Gets the stoppage, and also the back's so